This is an induction coil I was given recently by a school that, that didn't want it anymore. In fact, I'm not sure they're actually allowed to use it. Um, when I got it, it was very, very dirty, and uh, bits were missing and bits were broken, but I've just finished restoring it. Um, it's known as an induction coil or a Ruhmkopf coil, and uh, it's not really steampunk, I think it's more electromagnetic punk. It takes uh, a DC voltage of about 6 volts, and through the wonder of uh, electromagnetic induction, turns it up to a high voltage AC. In case you're wondering what that looks like, it looks like this. Now, interestingly, uh, even though it is AC, it does seem to have some sort of polarity. Look, watch what happens if I reverse it using what I believe to be the patented, possibly, Ruhmkopf switch. Hopefully you'll notice that the arc certainly seems to have um, a brighter bit at one end than the other. Now, if you have points, the electric charge comes off them quite easily. If you make it very smooth and round, like the top of a Van de Graaff generator, the uh, arc acts differently as the charge tends to build up a bit more, a bit more capacitance, a bit more surface effect, uh, which means this does this. If, however, I put a brass ball on the other electrode as well, it goes like this. With the gap distance reduced a little bit, the arc um, behaves slightly differently again. You can see it breaking off upwards. Uh, polarity doesn't seem to make a lot of difference. And that leads us on to the Jacob's Ladder, which we'll come to later. Here we have a disk from a computer, a uh, hard disk drive, which I don't think will work um, very well once I've finished doing this to it. Um, but because it's flat, the arc behaves differently. That's with the polarity one way. With the polarity the other way, it uh, does this. If I put the disc on one side and one of the balls on the other, it behaves like this. That's with the polarity one way, this is the opposite. This is the Jacob's Ladder. That's with the polarity one way, this is the other way. It's a real shame that the video camera just cannot capture the noise that makes properly. This messy looking thing is something called a lightning wheel, which I have made out of uh, some bits of board, uh, an old bolt, and the side of a pie tin. I may well get round to making a pretty one, um, but this is quite pretty. This is what this does. And once again, if I reverse the polarity, it looks similar, but different. So there we have it, an induction coil probably made before man went into space, uh, spent a lot of years sitting on a school bench, being used uh, well, but only occasionally, um, and now refurbed by me. Um, hopefully I will get round to using it in show sometime, um, but it is a little bit heavy to move, but it does do what it does very, very well. Thank you for watching. <laughs>